Hey there guys, Jordan in the know here. Um, I just wanted to make this video talking about my first experiences with Chrome OS on the Acer C710. After scrummaging eBay for a little bit, I ended up finding this Chromebook for really cheap, around $115, and decided to give it a shot. So, let's take a look at it. So as I said earlier, this is my first ever Chromebook. And like every OS that's new to me, I took a lot of time trying to figure it out, which really didn't take long considering that there isn't really a lot to it. Chrome OS is basically heavily dependent on the internet. Well, Google Chrome in particular, to get tasks accomplished. So practically everything from Google Music, to movies, to games, to even updating a Chromebook is done through Google Chrome. And the only thing that really doesn't require Chrome to be opened is the calculator. Everything that I would imagine a student would need is here. Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Spreadsheets, you can browse the web, you can play some games, and of course watch YouTube videos. You can use OK Google Search, which came by surprise. You can access your music, movies, and books from Google Play. But other than that, that's pretty much it. No iTunes, no Steam games, and this Chromebook really isn't useful for anything other than doing things that involve the web, which may change in the future considering Google's upcoming update to allow Chromebooks to run Android apps, which would definitely make this a more useful OS. But what Chrome OS can do now, it does really well. This Chromebook hasn't shown any signs of lag, and this is a baseline version with a Celeron processor and 2 gigs of RAM, so Surprisingly, performance hasn't been slow at all. Multitasking up to eight different windows while video playback hasn't slowed down a bit, and things are actually quite solid and smooth. Playing games has never shown any frame drops, but you should know that you can't really play Flash games, only some games that you can find from the web store. Speaking about the web store though, most apps are really just links to other websites. Like the eBay app for example, it's just a link to the eBay website or games downloaded from the Play Store are just links to the websites that host the games. But in the rare event that you end up finding an actual app, they're fairly well designed and definitely take advantage of those trackpad gestures. In my experience, you'd probably be better off just bark marking links in the browser, but the web store is a great reference to find apps that you're looking for. Oh, and I forgot, to answer that question that everyone's been asking, yes, you can edit videos on a Chromebook, but only through YouTube Video Editor, which isn't a very good piece of software, but if you're passionate enough and you really want to make it work, it could work out. Now, taking a look at the actual Chromebook, it's definitely a cheaper feeling laptop, but considering it's year old first gen hardware and sub $115, it's something that I've ended up getting used to. Concerning the keyboard though, the keys are small and typing in the dark is something that I really couldn't get used to, and that's probably the worst part about this Chromebook, besides the speakers, which are the worst that I've heard in any laptop, and I'll even go as far as saying most phone speakers sound louder and better. You will absolutely need headphones in order to listen to any sort of media clearly, and on second thought, watching media isn't really that clear either. Video playback was okay, but the viewing angles are very, very bad, and you have to have it in the perfect spot in order to watch non-distorted videos. And one last thing I want to touch on is the battery. I can go about three hours just watching video back to back, and about five hours web browsing and typing documents, which is okay, but most laptops have better. So guys, that's been my review on the Acer C710, but more in particular, that's been my review on Chrome OS. This is my first ever Chrome OS experience, and I've got to say, it's pretty alright. It could definitely use some work. I'm really waiting for that update to allow you to use Android apps on your Chromebooks because that'll just make it way more functional. But anyways guys, this has been Jordan in the Know. Thank you so much for watching. And just so you guys know, that one plus one invite giveaway is still going on, so make sure you put your entries in. But anyways guys, this has been Jordan in the Know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.